put your hands together for Ollie and Jenny Gay. And we are back, guys. How are you all doing this evening? You're right. You're enjoying radio, uh, radio sonar does blind dates. Broadcasting live from the top SU bar. Now we're back with Danny and Joe. We've had you 15 minutes, guys. Danny, how's it been so far? It's been really good. Although I did break his rose, his present. Ah, they gave you that as a present? Gentleman, absolute gentleman. Another good point, isn't it? And how's it gone for you? Yeah, really well, it's flown by. Ah, good conversation, just flowing? Definitely. Oh, good. Anything interesting you found about each other? Maybe something in common? <laughs> Embarrassing? He doesn't smell of piss, so... He doesn't... Okay. <laughs> and he doesn't smell of a mature cheese either. No, he smells good. Smells good so far. So do you think there'll be another date on the cards? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? That's a no. Give him a round of applause, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Oh, Would you please take the love lounge away? <laughs> Are you ready for round three? Ding, ding, ding. That's it, guys. If you're at the bar, please get your seat. Uh, please get your drinks and take a seat. We are ready for round three. Now, cool. we're missing something on stage. We are. We are. We need to hear from Graham. Our we need friends. to hear from Graham. Where's Graham? Mia, silly. <laughs> no. Oh. Contestant number one. She's back for more. She's a whore. It's Katie. <laughs> She's 23, she's from Kent. It's Sophie! And contestant number three, she's 21, she's also from Kent. It's Hannah! Thank you very much, Graham. Well, pull our lovely ladies to the stage, please, guys. We'll seal you in. In the love arena. Now guys, how are you all feeling tonight? Do you, uh, you've been on already. Are you hoping to get lucky a second time? Um, I'm not really worried, I'll just get really drunk tonight anyway. Excellent, one for the drink, we like that. <laughs> Lads on tour over there, you all right? <laughs> then we got some opinions in the audience. Now, you, this is your first time on the show, obviously, lovely. Are you looking for love this evening? Um, hopefully, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> see how the night flows. I think I can see your mates at home in there laughing it up. Well, we've got our three lovely ladies. We are missing a bloke, aren't we, Jen? Yes, we are. If you could all please give a lovely warm welcome to contestant number three. Oh, here we go. Can you choose this music yourself? Okay, so tell us what's your name and where'd you come from? Uh, my name's Jay and I'm from Norwich. Lovely. A few fans out there already? I do. I do have lots of fans, yeah. Oh, that's always a positive, isn't it? Especially if you're on a stage. So, have you been single for very long? Um, it's been on and off, like, I don't know, like nine months, I guess. So, you're not with someone on and off at the moment, no. are you? Okay, that's good. All right, and what are you hoping to get out of tonight? Um, my free drink at the end, actually. And then with the, with the girl, what are you hoping? <laughs> are you hoping? I think you're going to be disappointed, um, Jay. We ran out on the budget. Um, I am looking for anyone that I can show to my dad to prove I'm not gay. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. <laughs> Good answer. Okay, well, we hope that we'll find that girl for you today, okay? Cool. Are you ready with your questions? All right, you ready then? Yes. Hello. Right. Uh, <laughs> number one. Uh, this is question number one. Uh, my job requires me to work with cameras, and because of this, I'm quite a keen photographer. What would you do to impress me in front of the lens? And which contestant are you asking? Number one. Probably not enough if you're already doing this to prove you're not gay. <laughs> She's thought about that answer. Should we ask a question? And which contestants are Number two. I'd show you my long blonde locks, which is never ending, just like my sex drive. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you get some good answers, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, number three. Hey. Um, I don't really know. I already model, so I don't know. I guess 
I guess I'll do whatever you can afford. <laughs> <laughs> Lads on tour, you shut up, alright? <laughs> Okay, any, any answers that you're really liking? Um, the second and third, I think, are the best, yeah. Okay, so not one at the moment? Uh, not, not, not just yet, no. Okay. She can redeem herself in the other round, totally. Okay, well, we're ready for the next question. Okay, uh, question number two. Uh, this is for contestant number two. Uh, being vegetarian, I like to experiment in the kitchen. <laughs> if you were to cook me dinner, what would you, what would you cook? And would you be dessert? <laughs> He's asking if he could link you out. <laughs> yes, Graham! Oh, thanks, Graham. <laughs> An absolute gem from Graham there. <laughs> and that question goes to contestant number two. Number two. I'd be vegetable curry because I'm spicy, fiery, and I can keep you up all night. <laughs> good answer, you're impressive. That was good, that was good, I like it, yeah. Okay, which contestant should we ask next? Uh, number one. Thinking of an answer? Oh, sorry. sorry, it's the same question. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> uh, it was, uh, being vegetarian, I like to experiment in the kitchen. If you were to cook me dinner, what would it be? And would you be dessert? And can you lick your hands? <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't cook a main course, because dessert would be a mouth. Oh! <laughs> nice. Nice, yeah. Good answer. Um, and finally, is it contestant three? Yeah. Um, I used to be vegetarian myself, actually. And because I'm part Italian, I'd cook you vegetable lasagna. And being Italian, that makes me very passionate. So I guess it would all depend on how passionate you are. Oh, passionate vegetarian. That's a good answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK, is there a particular lady okay. in your mind at the moment that you're kind of leaning towards? Two and three are neck and neck. Neck and neck. Yeah. Okay. So one's not pulled it back. Not yet, but I think they might with this. They've got one last chance with this last question. Okay, well, we're going to hang on for one second because we need to go to the audience. Hopefully we'll have... Oh, there's Nathan, our roaming reporter. What have you got for us, Nathan? Well, I'm going to go and talk to April because apparently she knows Jay. So, April, Woo! you tell her. Tell me about it. What, what do you want to know? How, what, do you tell me anything about it? You know, any dirty secrets? I don't know him that well. Um, Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Yeah, go to the <laughs> I want to know if any of the girls are turned off by a guy that's got no big toenails. <laughs> are you? Contestant number one. Contestant <laughs> number one. Are you turned off? Girls, are you turned off yes. by no toenails? No big toenails. <laughs> I've got eight perfectly sized white <laughs> Have you got ten you toes, or is it just eight? Right, and I think I'm going to go to the last entourage, because I, I think they've got some views on contestant number three. Yeah. Have you got any contestant? Have you won contestant number three? Uh, no, I just, I just know her because she went on a date with my housemate, that's all. I, she's actually a really nice girl, I got to know her quite well, but other than that, I just clearly had one too many pints. And I didn't say it was you, I've got other housemates. Um, yeah, no, I just, I just kind of know her. She's very nice. They all are, they all look lovely. You're a lucky man, and you are lucky girls. You've She's got great. What a man. <laughs> all right then, back to Jen and Oliver. I think we got some good reaction from the audience there, Nathan. Thank you very much, Jen. I think we need to get on to the third and final question <laughs> from Jen. Okay, this is a decider. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Um, some say me and my housemate, Tom Dukesom, have a bit of a bromance. <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, if you and I were to start spending more time together, how would you keep him entertained? <laughs> and that goes to uh, number number two. I'd put on one of our erotic DVDs and provide popcorn because I'm a natural hostess. <laughs> nice, like it. <laughs> uh, number three. Number three. Um, well, some of my friends are really, really into uh, the skate games, and I've got quite fond of them, so I'd probably play some games with him, and then, who knows? Yeah! If you're lucky! Dukeson's going to get a play, mate! <laughs> uh, then number one. Oh, <laughs> well, seeing as your best friend is Tom Dukeson, I would provide him with lots of clothes and makeup, Dress up as a woman all day long. Number one! <laughs> Excellent answer, lovely. So we've heard all three questions from you, Jay. 
Have you, have you made up your opinion yet? Um, I think yes. You think yes? yes? Well, just for the audience, we're going to have a quick recap on the girls from Graham. It's contestant number one is Katie. I can tell you she's got a twin sister, so we'll probably want a threesome. <laughs> Contestant number two, she's 23, she's from Kent. She's sky, no, she's a, she skydived twice, so will you show her your parachutes? <laughs> and contestant number three, she's Hannah, she's 21, she's also from Kent, and she's a fashion management student, so you can take her clothes off, so I don't know. You got the numbers the wrong way around. What? You got the numbers the wrong way around, but it's all good. It's all good. Was that helpful for Graham? Um, yes. Thanks, Graham. So we're going to need your answer now, Jay. Which contestant are you going to go for? Well, as much as I want to play dress up with Tom, uh, I'd rather undress him. So I'm going to go for number two. Number two! Yeah. Yeah. You rejected contestant number one. Please get off the stage. <laughs> Jay. Okay, there's only one winner. Contestant number two, and that's Sophie! Now, we've got the love lounge, and you guys are going to have your 15 minutes. Get to the bar, guys, get a drink, and let's crack on.